It's our job to expose, not only just to expose, but to inform and educate the South African public and let them know what is exactly going on and who are the beneficiaries of the state capture process. But we must also make an appeal uh, to a certain category of South Africans. We have too many fence-sitters at the moment in all of the organizations that uh, we have been operating, up, excuse me, I've been operating in and elsewhere, waiting to see which way are things going to actually fall. And the appeal I want to make is that now is the time to make a decision about where you stand. That we must not allow the fact that we have a little tender from the state, or a little business going on on the side, or because we think we're going to get more businesses or business opportunities from the state, we keep quiet. If we keep quiet, we are going to slump into a 10-year disaster. It's going to take us five to 10 years to recover from the disaster that we're actually heading, heading towards. And so it's very important that as South Africans, we not only become better informed, but become actively involved in resisting state capture because of a simple reason. This South Africa is our country. Nobody must be allowed to steal it from us. Thank you very much.